Hi, this is Jonesy with Jetters Northwest. And what I want to talk about today in this get jetting video is what is a buffer tank and why is it needed? Um, with jet jetters like the Brute Jetter that do what we call high flow, you know, a, a little portable jetter might do three gallons a minute, four gallons a minute. But when we're talking about a jetter that can do nine gallons a minute or have another model that's 12 gallons a minute, your garden hose supply is generally not going to give you that much water. And technically, a hydrojetter pump it doesn't like to try to pull in water. You need to feed a hydrojetter's pump water. And the buffer tank gives you a buffer between what your garden hose might be giving you, which might be, say, six, seven, eight gallons a minute, and the demand of the jetter pump, which could be nine gallons a minute or more. So this allows the water to come in. There's a float valve in here, so it just fills up like a toilet tank. And when it's full, it just shuts the water off. Um, as the jetter's demanding water and it's drawing down, anytime you pause, like maybe to get a camera view or whatnot, the water can catch up. So the buffer tank is working as a buffer between, again, what your high flow jetter is drinking and what's coming in from your water supply. Um, now this is just a 12 gallon tank that we have on our portable. It's also on our skid units. But you know, if you need a larger water tank, you can just step up to 60 gallons on a portable tank that's a 100 gallon tank, and so on and so on. You can watch our other video about drawdown, talking about reasons for larger tanks. But if you've got a jetter that does really more than six gallons a minute, you wanna make sure you have a water buffer tank so that you don't injure the pump by not giving enough water. All right, thanks again for watching today. Get out there, get jetting.